Ladies and gentlemen, those in between are neither. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host. And today we're delving more into Nahiba's story quest in Genshin Impact. Last time we actually finished up the first part and started the second. To give the spark notes, as it were, a Dendro Elemental is trying to get home. And Nahida found something that isn't really connected to her. But it is connected to the Dendra Elemental that we kind of, I don't want to say ran into. But we're helping the Elemental get back home. And the Elemental keeps calling Nahida Lord Dendra, which is a little weird. Um, what? Although we belong to different species, we've spent a long time living along the sun path. They are very important to us. I don't They're think I can... Mm. As long as we try to communicate. What should we do? You're the only one who can make it through, right? But you'll need Nahida's power if you want to save that fungus. I've got an idea. Can we teach him how to change into a fungus? Wait, what? <laughs> oh no! You want to transform into a fungus? But we don't have time for growth. Nahida is a god. Changing into a fungus should be a piece of cake for her. I mean, you're right, but... She's... Oh, jeez. Even gods can't bend the laws of time so easily. Then you'll have to end me with the risk of being noticed. But if sending some of my power will guarantee the safety of you and this family, then I'm willing to try. Alright. You have great elemental power, so you may be able to do it. Okay. You will have to use power equal to that which is required to break through the limitations of time. I will lend you the relevant knowledge that I know. It should make the transformation process a little easier. Alright, I'm ready. Changing into a fungus will be quite an interesting experience. Oh boy. <laughs> Lord of Dendra, this is nothing to joke about. I am extremely serious about this. Again, Lord of Dendro. Nahida's a woman. Have have they They have her confused for somebody else. Who's the somebody else? <laughs> Hi, man. We can't do it. She can. Good luck, Lord of Dendro. Oh boy. Hey. <laughs> yeah. You really turned into a fungus. She's a hydro fungus. It's actually not too bad. My perspective in this world is much different than you two. The unconscious fungus is just so we'll feel. Can you all help me determine which one it is? Oh, why don't we do that? I'll get close to them while you make your way over from above. You should be able to identify them using elemental sight since they're elemental life forms. Then, all you have to do is repeat the correct answer in your mind. As long as I'm able to see you, then I'll be able to hear your answer. Um, so is this a stealth section? Oh. We're... We're the fungus. Um. There's a fungus I'm patrolling the countryside. It looks pretty busy, so I better go around it. Yeah. 
Oh dear. Okay. So this is a infiltration mission. Got it. Which means I need to be careful, and this will warrant a lot of trial and error. Or at least a fair amount. Okay, it's our turn. Oh, oh no. Um, it's the Anima one. I am so happy that we did not have to fight as the Traveler, because my Traveler is not prepared. <laughs> this is adorable and weird. Hopefully. You do. Dendro Dragon? <laughs> Uh, the what? I'm sorry, I just got so excited. I probably won't make quite such a motion for death. But yes, our home is the Dendro Dragon. Um, was not expecting a dragon. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Yes, they're both dragons, but a pet, the Dendro Dragon, has been around for longer and has accumulated dense elemental power. Okay, so we just need to take the fungi to a pet. But I don't quite understand. Why would you say that your homeland is a dragon? Because we live inside the Dendro Dragon. Um... Okay. Like, power source? Food? Oh, so a pep is big enough to 
effectively have an entire ecosystem. Interesting. Well, given where it probably is, I don't necessarily blame it. Is it like dendrobots giving dendro slimes giving birth to smaller slimes? Oh. Hmm. It does. That's concerning. Well, looks like we are saving another dragon. Nikita, Nikita. So who are the helpers? Nikita. Who are the helpers? Aranara? Of course, I can arrange how it's doing. 
Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're helping out the fungus. This is adorable. I love it. Um, green seeds. Nice. So we will actually have to head up, up a little further in order to tend to the food. And I don't know what plants are trying to invade. That, that could be a problem. Plant the seeds. Or seed, rather. I'm gonna have to water it. Um, looks like we'll need a Hydro character for this. Thankfully, I've got one that I haven't really used in a while, but I can swap into him relatively easily. Hello, Sing Cho. Chivalry will never die. Well said, good, good friend. And then we'll step back. And there. Uh, before we do that, <laughs> let's actually get our proper ro rotation back. <laughs> sure. Thank you, Zhang Li. And now, let's bust up some plants, yeah? Where's... Um, huh. Well, I don't think that was it, but I did get some wood, which is nice. Oh! Oh! Whopper flowers! One. Pillar and good meteor strike should do it. Alrighty. Extreme gardening. <laughs> Feeling better? Okay. Samaria was a Hex territory. In the those days, the lush rainforest covered the entire nation. Oh, there. So there was no desert back then? Upon its roots, that came when a giant spike fell from the sky, turning a huge section of the rainforest into sand. 
A celestial nail? In an attempt to adapt to its new environment, the pet changed color from the emerald green of the forest to the yellow of the soil. No wonder those two elemental life forms are always talking about the importance of adapting. A pet has always seen itself as the master of Sumeru and has refused to recognize the new order that was established. Even now, it probably still holds great hostility toward the gods. However, powerless against the power in the sky, and learn the forbidden knowledge many millennia later, it's been unable to stir up any trouble. But I thought the gods and dragons were on decent the terms. The planetary sides were destined to continue until a balance can be found. As far as I know, a pet had been slumbering in the desert, and King Deshra had taken a great interest in Maybe this is why it kept us contaminated. I'm not sure what may have led us to become evolved, but rescuing it is definitely our top priority right now. The crystal that I have in my possession is probably the key that links the two matters together. Okay. So it looks like we're going to the desert. Eventually. I, I don't know if we're doing it now or if we're doing it later. Um, which life form are we speaking to? Animo with Hydro. I'm kind of hoping the Hydro because the Hydro I can actually somewhat understand. Or at least it's not as, as broken up. Oh. Aww. <laughs> you really like them, don't you? It's It's complicated. Family does not need to be blood. What are you trying to say is that as long as family members get along well, then they can all play. We place importance on appearances, but they do not. We find the experiences, knowledge, and connections we've made to be more important. These are all things that are more reliable than the more external appearances. We are the fruits of karma, and the essence of what it means to grow. And oh, speaking of growing, this can always change. So, what's inside of us is more important. It wouldn't matter. Karma would still be able to recognize me right away. Oh, hmm. Understood. Thank you. Same as my issue in the forest. Seems like we won't be able to find the other family members for now. <sighs> and it appears we are out of leads to find. And if no one knows how this crystal works, then the pet may be in danger. It's okay. It isn't your fault. I don't think it's a coincidence that neither of you can remember anything about the crystal. Maybe it's because the crystal has a very close connection hmm. to forbidden knowledge, which causes memories of it to be unclear. Makes sense. And if that's the case, maybe the other fungi still wouldn't help us at all. Crystal in the Apocalypse. The Apocalypse and the Memories. For all that's done here, do you still remember the prophecy? The... the prophecy? Uh-huh, I do. What about it? The prophecy is a story that connects events of the past and the future. A family member once said that the Apocalypse is a part of us and that there is value in preserving it. The rest of the family did not approve of its opinion at the time, so it left. Preserving the apocalypse? Do you mean that there's still some that hasn't been eliminated? That's not very likely. The power of Ermin's soul covers every inch of the land. And the prophecy 
Chasm. Whoa, that must be the chasm, right? I swear the key there. Do we have to go back? <laughs> hmm. It's impossible to preserve forbidden knowledge. Why would the key be preserving such a dead thing? I'm sorry if I'm suddenly not making any sense. However, I do think it's possible. Follow me. I'll explain it once we find an elemental life form. Can we grab Yolan at least? <laughs> oh. Hold on. Let's let's see what we can actually do because I think we finished up the quest. Yeah, we 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 finished up that quest a while back. What shape does self hold? Okay. Where are we going? Where is the quest in question? Why are we going into the underground mines? I wish we could just grab Yolan <laughs> and be like, hey, little elf here. <laughs> Can we call it a couple favors? <laughs> At least. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like the chasm. It's been a while since I've been here. Do I have? I don't even have the torch. Okay. Let's let's fix that real quick, because I get the feeling that I might need the torch. So we'll do a quick swap and put our torch in. Oh, did I not confirm it? Dang it. Alright, so quick swap, remove. There we go. So now, winds with the yes, strong me. I'm fully aware. But where are those? There we go. Now that we actually have a decent light source. Wait, there's, there's a giant mushroom down here that, that you help. It's like a, it's like a one-off quest, so it's completely optional. But was that the same life form? Wouldn't it already have become the withering like the others? There is a chance that we could avoid that in using the power of something here. I'm referring to what was used to fight against the Abyss. It once repaired the roots of sap long ago. It has the ability to purify and stabilize towers that shouldn't exist in Kadak. Forbidden knowledge that its light has shown upon is kept pure forever in a different form. You mean the yes. oozing gunk? It's just like soap bubbles that rise to the water surface. <sighs> Another strange metaphor. But Prima somehow gets this one. But the Lord of Labor could alter by the power of the giant spike and bring the thing even closer. Yes, but it shouldn't be far from here. Let's go and take a look. Uh, what, what am I fighting? What am I dealing with? Well, I'm going to snag this viewpoint while I'm here. Because yes, that is very pretty. Um, if I open up the map, 
because I've actually opened up all the teleport waypoints down here, so it's not it's not a pain to travel through anymore. Or at least it's not a huge pain to travel through. It can still cause issues. Deploy the wings! Wow. I'm gonna have to destroy some some gross stuff, aren't I? Well, let's make sure that we land on, on the safe part of the ground first. Still, I didn't think we'd be back here. Well, hold on. Oh, jeez. Uh, I need lights. Horse had to show. These stupid dogs. I will have order. Okay. Stabilize. Dare to mess with me. Observe. Okay. Dogs are dealt with. Now we just need to get some light. Much better. Oh gosh, I I need to heal up everybody because if I don't, we're gonna run into issues. Chickens for everybody. Especially with this team, because this team is particularly particularly frail because it doesn't have a healer dedicated to it. Um. Boy. Stand there. Oh no. Um. Okay, I know what I need to do. It's that I'm struggling in terms of getting there. Because Let's let's head back to a waypoint first. See if we can get some light. And now that we have the light, where's where's a good way a place to stand? Yeah, that's literal. The bounce pad is the only decent spot. Hmm. 
because the ooze covers everything else. Don't land in the muck. Stand. And. Well, that didn't really work. Gotcha! Didn't know that you could do that in the air. I finally managed to rescue. Except we were all pulled in front of the bus. What are you? Hi. We can't go through it again. Don't really have a choice. I hold no promises, but I will certainly try. Hi. Also, the greater lord in all of her glory. So you changed it into the ooze. Let's 
things are pretty important. As you can see, I don't last much longer. I understand. I'm, I'm sorry. Can you please tell me what this is? This is a fire suit. It's an essential item for saving the Denethro dragon. Thankfully, it appears to be in good condition. A fire suit? I appreciate the irony. The Lord of Denethro and our people created this item together. It mimics how the Denethro dragon's heart of oasis operates. Okay. The Denethro dragon has been tormented by the apocalypse for far too long. It too is viewing the end of its power. However, if you are able to reactivate this heart of oasis using the fire suit, then the Denethro dragon will begin to recover. Hmm. And as a result, our homeland will return to the way it once was. Wow. So the heart of Oasis is the pet's source of power. No wonder the creature was able to heal the fungus this long. What did it do it for? What? You used the fire suit. Try. Yeah. Well. Oh. This is a small ball of light that I left behind. I can feel it. I can feel its knowledge and emotions. It has all the tangents of the dead elemental form and has become one with the other plane elements. We lost the shadow ball for us. This wish has come true, and it's very likely to return. Because it's external form, it doesn't matter, right? Yes, because our external form does not matter, and our heart is missing. There is nothing more important than being together with family. Aww. Let's get out of the chasm and back to Sumeru. And... Wow, we're actually going to a decent... We're going far out into the desert. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can get some of my henna berries on, on my way out here.
because I need them for Farzan in order to ascend her. And then I can ascend her talents, and then I will be very, very happy. And is that a combat at trial? No, that's that's not a combat trial. Okay. So hang on. Oh, it's up there. Ah. I didn't think we had that much of a drop. No more trolls that we can just ignore. Some sort of bird that we can just ignore. Okay, we just need to navigate around. Alright, let's take on a dragon. Uh oh. I don't... What? Um... Yikes! Hi! The Dendro Dragon. <laughs> He's huge! You have only existed for a fraction of what you know is to come. Yet you call yourselves lords of this land by leaning on the heavens below. You're better off paying attention to your path ahead. For you will fall where you've fallen before. I know that you think all gods are humans, but you've grown too weak now. Is there a god named Hatred? Even for only a moment? Let it be. For only a moment. Foolish fool, you will find no gratefulness from me, even if you do. You will only be reviving the dragon that will destroy Sumeru and the seven nations. Um, what? No, you're ill, that's all. That I am. Time will bring death to all, but unavoidably. Although I am Mutated fungus?
Making it worse. They're not responding. of forbidden knowledge. But how will he become the same if forbidden knowledge has allowed to rampage across Tavaki? I feel a struck in your land. I'm able to find a single puddle of fresh water in the entire world. Nahida, we can talk about yes. this later. It's <laughs> trying to be gentle with you. But I have you very much in. All that want to do is survive. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> And we will go into Kazuma. Dendro is not reactive, but these guys are small enough that I'm not particularly worried. Now for for the fight with for the fight with the pets, I am worried that the current team I have will not be strong enough. But they had to. Is there a way to make them revert to their elemental form? Years of torment is what turned them into their current state. Their external form has become their shackles. It seems only the fire zone, or perhaps part of Oasis, can save them. But it'll be riskier to use the fire seed again. Correct. We cannot use the fire seed again. Use the power of the fire seed. I can't bear leaving them in the desert like this. Hold on. Don't worry, the decision is on me. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. But Nikita, <laughs> we're not supposed to use the seed. That's the problem. It won't require much elemental power. I'm just worried that it will become unstable. But as long as I use my elemental power to stabilize it a little, it shouldn't be a problem. Thank Thank you, Rambo Dendro. Returning home is the most important thing to you. I've come to understand that during our travels. I'm not doing this just to protect you, but also because I hope to use you and your experience and try to become So it's stabilized. We will all be able to go home soon. And we converted them. Wow, it's shiny now. Uh, hi. <laughs> You're carrying everyone's hopes and dreams. Yes, I. We 
Okay. Navigate just to make sure. And I'm also gonna check the map because there could be a waypoint nearby. Eh, kinda sorta. We start here. I just hope this didn't, this waypoint in particular did not put us underground. It shouldn't have, but. Mm. Oh, brother. Yeah. You shouldn't see me like this. Well, that did not work as intended. Um. Hang on. Chung Lee. <laughs> Come on back, bud. <laughs> We're not done yet. Uh. Um, I do see a cactus, which could mean henna berries. Uh, no, I don't see the little red plant. Or flower bud, I should say. Yikes! Oh, we're going underground. Run! Hey, Dendro Crystal Fly. That'll be useful. So much ore. Yikes! Whoa. Let's play this fairly safe. Can they see where the dendro dragon lives? Well, we can't go any further. Who knows what's inside that cave? But our goal is not only to find the dragon. But to also enter the world inside of it. But that will be impossible if we can't get it to cooperate with us. But how are we gonna do that? It doesn't seem to want to help at all. I'll see what I can do. A pet. I know we don't see eye to eye, and that we have a very different understanding of the world and its orders. However, we are both born with elemental power, and both suffered the torment of forbidden knowledge. We are not that different. And right now, we share a common enemy. We should not let our differences get in the way. She's got a point. Wonder if the Dendro Dragon is even willing to listen. And don't care about what you believe in, who you hate, or what you've done in the name of hatred. Nor do I expect you to be grateful. I'm here to save both you and your people. My people. They've been searching for a way to save you ever since they left their homeland. They yearn for a chance to return home. But now that everything is over, all the hatred that you harbor has lost its meaning. Rather than continuing to fight, you should consider the life you've produced. That is fine. Your eagerness to survive means that you haven't given up on that world yet. If you claim to know so much more than I, then why don't you truly think about why you want to survive? And why you're so vengeful? Still nothing. Hang on. And send us to the homeland. Oh boy. Let's go help a dragon. <laughs> Let's go help a dragon.
And where's... Where's us? But what about the traveler? Where'd she go? The pirate is only able to ensure that we make it here safely. And it's possible we arrived at different locations. Hmm. Well, then let's go have a look up ahead. I might be a little worried. Yep, let's go. I'll learn where it's named. The traveler's the official name. Aww. Let's hurry. She might be just up ahead. <laughs> Why are you walking and not running? Paimon, I understand because Paimon just kind of floats, but. Oh. Do we only have access to Nahida? And we can't use our skill or our burst either. Oh boy, this might be a little bit of a problem. <laughs> What's that? Hmm? That should be the heart of Oasis. All we need to do is light it with the fire seed, and it'll restore a cup with elemental power. The damage it suffered in Kaoli will also slowly begin to heal. Then let's hurry and light it! We still need to find the traveler! Alright, hang on. Oh no. It was even more unstable than I expected. But why? We barely used it. I, I'm not sure. Perhaps the fire seed was only capable of protecting one person. But if I didn't use this power on everyone, there's no way of knowing where he could have been sucked into. And even if that's the case, there's no reason for it to slip. Unless what? Unless I was already in a weakened state when I created this fire seed. Which would be when the entire seed was hazard. Oh no. Wait, let's put that aside for a moment. If the fire seed had scattered, wouldn't that mean we came all this way for nothing? Uh, you know what we should do now, Nikita? Uh, Come on, Paimon, think! I... <sighs> Don't worry, Paimon. This is my responsibility. The fire seed is technically just a ball of highly concentrated elemental power. Although my elemental power is slightly different than that of elemental life forms, I gained a better understanding of it when it turned into a fungus. So all I have to do is imitate that power while adding some of my own. And I'll be able to do what the fire seed was supposed to. You're gonna become the fire seed? Yes. It'll take a lot of power from me, but it still won't be anything compared to when I was in the desert. I mean, my power will, uh, become even smaller. What happens if you keep getting smaller? I'll become a blade of grass, you know, like this. Basically, power turned to heart as things flow. I will be able to unleash power beyond my limits if I can reverse the process of growth. You'll lose everything. You'll not only lose your appearance, but you'll lose your emotions, memories, and who knows what else? <laughs> That's all right. None of that matters compared to the dangers that Apep is facing right now. No, no, hang on! Hang on. <laughs> Besides, what will Tamaru do if she turns into a squid? Maybe you and the Traveler can grant me the soul of Sumeru once it is all over. Nikita! <laughs> I can still communicate with the world through the forest. It's just that you won't be able to see me most of the time. You can't be serious. If the Traveler were here, she definitely wouldn't let you go through with it. If we knew this was how you were going to take responsibility, then we never would have agreed in the first place. I'm sorry, Paimon, but we're out of options. Not all eagles may fall into the ground from soaring the sky once again. But if no risks are taken, then the eagle will be grounded forever. Oh, please don't, Nikita! We, we don't have a choice. Hup! Huh? 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 Huh?
down, Nahida! What? <laughs> We've all grown on this long journey. If the purpose of that growth was to return home, then our wishes have come true. Well, what? <laughs> Guys! that you have learned will be reverted into pure elemental energy yep in your new homeland nothing of who you were will remain you won't be remembered by anyone is that truly the return you've always dreamed of lord of dendro don't be sad this is not your home we go home Pep, <laughs> I understand you do not like the gods, but oh no, oh jeez, okay. in the last oasis in our last battle here well friend I hope I hope it'll be a good one This team isn't necessarily suited for combat like this, so the fact that we are doing relatively well is something to be proud of. So adorn my knight. We, we've also got Nahida here, but I don't think we'll need her. I that I could be wrong, but we're making solid progress. Fungus? Well, I suppose. Little more. Just a little more. Wait. What? Can 
Can I pull these ears together? I can! Shield not Gather. breaking. Too late for regrets. And step. Break a leg. Why is the shield not breaking? Come on, you guys. Away from the seed core. As one with wind and cloud. Come on. Didn't set up the shield, but it's fine. We'll break a leg. We'll deal with it. As one with wind and cloud. Rise. I will have that also did not set up the shield, but again, it's fine. We'll we'll deal with it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's our shield. Monsters are defeated. The heart is revitalized. That. Oh, man. The Dendro Dragon is healed. What? I'm sorry. What? What? Solidify. What in the fever dream? going to need food for this because if I don't somebody's dropping here and it's probably gonna either be Kazuma or Farzan and I really don't want that to happen so more chickens more chickens <sighs> okay that's what it's here for Where did you go? There you are. Where's where's the shield? Where's the shielding? Where's the shielding? 
There's the shielding. One and now I'm going to Kazuha. Adorn my knight. The... There we go. Ah. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Thankfully, I can just give this to Zhongli and then proceed to give him chickens. Considering that I've only screwed screwed up once, I think we're doing okay. Paimon, that's enough. Understand us. That's how it's destined to be. And as long as you can be healthy again, then nothing else matters to me, Akek. Samara will be free from threat as long as your health is maintained. I thought that my rage would be kindled once my power returned to me. However, what I feel now is a feeling that has long eluded me. The feeling of peace. peace. The forbidden knowledge influenced you ever since you were contaminated, greatly amplifying your hatred and rage. Yes, there's no denying that. Although my hatred for that usurper from beyond the heavens still stirs deep within me, destroying you and your people serves me no purpose. Be that as it may, my position still stands, and I will have nothing. Honestly, that is okay. It's a long story. We all once believed in the distant past that only forbidden knowledge could give us enough power to defeat the heavenly principles. You know, 
the heavenly principles keep coming back again and again and again. Huh. The Dragon King acquired the power of darkness for our silence realm and led us in a fight against the order established by the outsiders. The Dragon King? An unimaginable war took place in Karak, causing destruction on an unprecedented scale. The world itself was on the verge of collapse. Is this tied to the Conrad Trump? The victor would inherit the right to shape the world, while the losers must turn into ash. But I didn't give up on searching for a way to turn the tides, even after the death of the Dragon King. As I attempted to collect more forbidden hmm. knowledge from the corners of the world, as it was on the verge of collapse, I was stopped by the giant spike that fell from the sky. Sand dunes arose with it. Was as if even Sumeru itself was trying to tell me that the era of the dragons was over. But you still didn't give up, did you? Because of Amun Alakmar. Yes. Alakmar eventually obtained his power with the help of Nabu Malika. His ambitions continued hmm. to grow, and he planned to establish a powerful kingdom in my domain. Although I didn't think much of him. I allowed his actions under one condition. The condition was that after his death, all the knowledge he came to accumulate would belong to me. At that time, I still harbored deep regrets. By the time the Dragon King finally returned, the world had irrevocably changed. Some of the dragons have grown close to your kind and have forgotten all about our from when the world was taken from us. And some died, leaving behind nothing but their bones. bones. While others chose to flee after experiencing pain and agony. But for me, the scales and will of the Dragon King still shine bright in my heart, even to this day. I will follow them until the end of my time. Swallowed him whole as I agreed and absorbed his elemental power. However, what I gained was no battle. No. I gained the apocalypse. I used up all my strength to trying to keep the pain under control. I had no energy to analyze the knowledge he had accumulated. And even then, I still believed that his insanity was far greater than. I mean... So that's how the apocalypse started. I admit that I fell for his trap. I was like a final failsafe in his plan. Mm -hmm. I need the ring. And the rest of you. Continue forward. I shall keep a watchful eye. How far will a life so dear and precious to the heavenly principles be able to go? Well, Dendro Dragon helped. That was a very interesting fight. Even if it was just kind of an exercise in what what am I looking hey, at? Looks like we've been sent back down. There were one peak few. Mm -hmm. The dragon will need to rest for a very long time before it is fully healthy again. It's not as ruthless as it was before. Sparing the dragon of its elements has slowly made it more open to reason. Nobody's in a good mood when they're feeling sick. Even though we accomplished something really important. Paimon still doesn't feel happy for some reason. 
bringing everyone home is supposed to be a happy occasion, but that didn't happen. I don't think I want to try to explain this to a fungus. Also, we're just gonna grab the waypoint. Or viewpoint, rather. Rather. Oh, this this is gonna be painful, isn't it? This this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> because we have to explain to the fungi that their family member is not coming home. Or at least isn't coming back. Oh. I figured Hoyle would would make me upset today. Or at least feel sad. I didn't think it would be this much though. There's the fun guy. Hi, buddy. Um. They're still here. Have they really been waiting here all this time? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I really am. But Luke's gone home and won't be able to return for a very long time. I really hope that Nur actually ends up more involved. Uh, can I just, can I just take you with me, <laughs> please? Okay, but. We've got one more story quest, and it's going to make me cry by the end of it, <laughs> but there's really no other way around it. So let's jump back into the second part of Yoi Mia's story quest. To recap on this one in particular. Yoimiya is looking for a meteor shower, and Nahida has agreed to help us in the form of recruiting the the uh, the R the Aranara to also help. Let's go. 
<laughs> now this will make for quite the story. Oh, what? Oh, and I don't have... Well, maybe we can swing... Swing... Through. Deploy! Deploy the wings and grab the dendro oculi. Mm. At least you're able to talk. How did he look? Was he doing well? How did he change in any way? How far down? Okay. Just checking the map. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. And a giant air current. Radiant Spinal Crystal. Hang on. Gotcha. Seventy six. Neat. Um. Okay. So right now we're just gonna go up the arm. Let's continue to go up the arm. I think we're on. It's effectively a giant ring grater. Don't fall into the components. And yes, I do see the dendro oculi, however, we're not exactly going after it just yet. Okay. There we go. Oh, it's actually in. It's in the grater. Okay. What a great view! I just want to shout at the top of my lungs. Yeah, and even though we might not be doing the meteor shower from here, it's a good place to practice. Oops, I was having too much fun and almost forgot about that. Before we left Inazuma, many people told us I was looking for a meteor shower, so they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Cool! That many? So you want to help convey yes, them all? Part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers to wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories. These memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes. Because wishes carry people's worry and hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Very it's clear true. to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with. To join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower. But it became... 
give me something like a mission once everyone has handed their wishes over to me. Understand what I'm trying to say? Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that are both a sense of admiration and it's hard to put into words. Then have you considered that if you can't find it, it doesn't yeah. exist? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion. It's not like life has to be on my side, but there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. I didn't take this step. It's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me, either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they were still on their wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. You really are amazing, Amiga. <laughs> We'll need to look for the pure store in Sumeru. Anyway, I want to use it to create the observation device to confirm where the meteor shower will be. I see. We can go somewhere else to look. Then I don't go back to Sumeru City. Well, we could. Oh, I can see. If we really ask the blacksmith, he's going to give us funny looks for sure. We just have to roll with the punches. Yeah. I'm almost doing the best not to say anything wrong. Of course, we're not so bad about keeping our Mia in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. I want her to see the meteor shower. All right, so there's an oculi, and it's actually in the. It's, um, let's see if we can try to get it from here, because it's literally in. It's in the eye, effectively. I think we can. Just gotta be real careful with it. Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! And now, we'll just go back to the Statue of the Seven and turn the two oculi in that we have. It's mainly so that way I don't forget about them. That, and it'll give her give us a chance to heal up our characters in the process. There. All squared away. At least for now, anyway. And now we'll just go back into the city. Oh. We'll need to talk to the blacksmith. Maybe I can get some stuff forged at the same time. Can you briefly explain the purpose of your visit to the blacksmith? You want to use the purest material to create a star observation device? Specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, purest material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. 
Do you have any alternatives? Firstly, this all sounds rather uh, strange. I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? I had a trouble, but you were kind of messing with someone. Sorry, the missing was pretty far. So maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials I might get to burn and create up a mock-up device for you? That'd be great. Thanks so much for your help. No need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. <laughs> Using his well honed skills, the blacksmith strikes the lens. These were for ordinary use, it would be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top notch, this is far from ideal. Ah, why is it so interested all of a sudden? Then what do we do? Yeah, what now? Don't worry too much about the materials. If you think it'll be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Hmm. Since we're on the topic of legends, allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses mm -hmm. excellent properties that are matched by no other. Go on. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Okay. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain. While others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. Huh? Why is that? That's because the material is too precious. Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of the smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself so when I do encounter this material, it won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So, do you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, and I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower. Then, I have to go looking for it. Uh, isn't there like something we can find? We can at least try. Exactly, we're truly no legends after all. It's sure not going to matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us. And if we don't, maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. Man, you put it like that. Hey, excuse me. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Yeah, she and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's the matter? Do you know where she went? She hasn't returned home yet. Huh? I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh, dear. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. I'm concerned about her mental health. Honestly, fair. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind... It's okay, don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well. But I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> she doesn't want to tell me anything. Probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. No. But I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. Don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump, and she told me that she wanted to become oh. a great adventurer someday. So she's taking it particularly hard because... She used to be able to do all, all these things, and now she can't. 
But after she became ill, yeah. she lost strength in both legs. She hasn't been able to stand since. We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. It's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Yeah. It's okay. I Been there. Understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to need your shower search on hold. Of course. Avine safety is more important. child in a wheelchair sorry afraid not i've been keeping my eyes on my anvil but you're looking for someone i suggest dropping in on today he's my supplier if anyone's aware of the comings and goings of treasure street it'd be him you know where we can find him he's probably resting just over there not far all right got it thanks for your help with everything we'll go over there and see what we can find out don't worry, I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please, let me know. Thanks again for helping. Alright. Let's go talk to Sade. And... See if we can find the child. Uh, actually, hang on. I'm going to do something real quick. I'm, I'm going to check something real quick. Because I know that we're not going to be able to pull on the limited character banner. So, unfortunately, no Orlikino, no Linny. But we can do a, we can do a 10 pull. We can do a 10 pull on the standard banner. If you'd like to see Leroy Ford's fight, I have a few references. Yeah, strongly, I'm fully aware. Alright, today? I, I think that's how you, you pronounce your name is pronounced? Excuse me? Have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Hmm. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. I was moving some boxes at the time and I saw her pushing her wheelchair so hard she was panting. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond. As if she didn't hear me. It sounds like there really was something on her mind. Yeah, that was the impression I got too. What's wrong? Did she go missing? Yes, so we're looking for her. I see. That's rather worrying. I know. I'll ask my friends and see if they know anything. You wait that way. If you ask people as you go, hopefully you'll track her down. Okay, thanks. If you find out anything, don't forget to tell the people with the green scarves. <laughs> you mean the core of 30. Don't worry, I got it. Yeah, he's he's a native here. <laughs> um Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, we're looking for a child in a wheelchair. Oh, I remember her. She went that way not too long ago. I asked her what she was doing. A job, I don't know. That seems a little weird. Whatever the case, she went to the city. If you follow that road, you should be able to find her. Gotcha. Thanks a lot. Alright. The fact that she's... Going outside the city is a little concerning. Um, excuse me. Have you seen someone? Hello there. Did a child in a wheelchair pass this way? A wheelchair? Oh, so that's what it was. I didn't get a good look. But something going pretty fast went sliding down that slope over there. Wait, what? Oh no, it's dangerous. Sure, there's terrain of all sorts outside the city. And if that was the kid, 
got it. It was over there, right? I don't like this. Avine. Oh no. Hey, are you all right? I, I fell off my wheelchair. I, I can't move around without it. Why? Why? It's okay. You're okay. You're not hurt. I'll take care of her. Can you take a look at her wheelchair? We can certainly yeah. try. We'll be right back. <laughs> hmm. Um. Hmm? Hold on. So. Uh, the wheelchair would have been going. It should be somewhere up ahead. Just to slow down. Can't be too far. Yeah. Is it in the tree? No, it is not in the tree. Hello, trolls. Hey. Stabilize. Too late for regrets. Wind strike. That's what you get for taking your kid's chair. You jerk. All right, let's let's retrieve it. You're still working. That's good. Or else my family would have to pay for another one. You feeling any better? I know that must have been really scary for you. Um, it's all right. You're safe now. We'll bring you back. Um, you feel okay telling me why you had to come here despite the risks? If you don't want anyone else to know, we'll definitely keep it a secret. That's right. Trust us. We are Anara party. I'm just a sperm. I'm not just carving on the one I gave you. Yeah. My illness is really bad. It's not just my legs. <sighs> I've forgotten a lot of stuff too. Does she just does she have a version of Elizar? Like, I, I know it's not, it's not Elazar as we would come to understand it, but... I used to love running. I love the feeling it gave me. And the sound of wind rushing by my ears. Her symptoms are very reminiscent to what Elazar actually did to the body. So I'm wondering if this is just a different form of it, in a way. those memories get. I'm starting to forget how it feels to love something. But when I saw that wood carving, I remembered that I once had a best friend who'd always run with me. Wait, was he an Aranara? Um, my mom meant that it couldn't have been an Aranara, right? They're just fairy tale characters. But they are. They're real. They couldn't be Okay, I understand. Okay, let's calm down. Hold 
Zug hatte die Schritte noch nicht. We'll help too. But sure. Um sorry, wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. So what's wrong? You look so serious all of a sudden. Here's the thing. Do you really oh, believe in this? Did you think I was overpromising back there? Don't worry, I have experience with this kind of thing. You do? Her reuniting with her R and R friend is the result, but recapturing her past joy and belief in herself is the process, and that's where our help is needed. I'm guessing that her sudden illness made her feel like she may not be able to realize her dreams anymore. It also made it difficult for her to hold on to the happy memories and dreams she had. Everyone has their own imagination. After some chance coincidence, she met R and R. So as long as you help her rediscover that same feeling she once had, R and R will return naturally. Oh, so that's what you're thinking. Folks only want to believe in objective reality. In doing so, they may unintentionally do harm to the innocent fantasies of children. But I think there are ways to get even subjective things back. So how about one help me out? <laughs> Looks like all this excitement made you forget your original goal again. If you can do anything to help, I would be able to watch a meteor shower, even if it appeared right now. And do the stars really want their caller to have such a heartless soul? What are you trying to say? Because we can actually summon the Aranara. <laughs> you are a good Nara. Really? Hmm. <laughs> Hello, friend. <laughs> Very unexpected. The Lord of Dendral <laughs> did not say that there would be a strange Nara. Arnara, trust the golden Nara. If that were not so, I would not have appeared. I'm sorry. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Sorry, uh, let me explain. Mm -hmm. I know that you only want to be seen by people you trust. It's rash of me to butt in. Once had an Aranara as her best friend, and they haven't met in a very long time. She's been quite ill, and her world has been turned upside down. It's been so long since she's been able to see her friend that even her memory of him has become hazy. Living with a friend like that is too sad, and she never wanted that to happen. 
I'm never gonna, I mean, and Arshani. All Nara grow up, and when they do, they will say goodbye to their young selves. All Nara want to prepare for that. The truth is, very few succeed. That's why I want to help her. Her world is still very small. Too small for all the sadness she has to bear. As things are, all she can do is sit alone and think about how happiness is leaving her little by little. About how life has been so unfair to her. I understand. Her world is very small, so disappointment is very large. Yes. Maybe we're already used to bad luck and we know how to deal with feelings of sorrow and disappointment, but this is her first day dealing with any of this. Life can trip anyone up. What's most important in times like this is for us to support one another. Hmm. It seems that the Red Nara has not yet grown up. Time is very important to Nara. Nara walk with time. They remember much, and they forget much. But, Red Nara is different. You know how young Nara think. The warmth in your heart is very pure. It is fierce, like the sun. I believe you are a trustworthy Nara. So, that means... I can bring you all to see Arashani. Arashani is in uh, Watinima Forest? It's the giant rainforest. But Nara Avin might not be able to see Arashani unless she is prepared. It is not very complicated or difficult, though. Let me lead the way. Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> this is definitely a section that I don't think that I was prepared for. Oh! Cool! Um. Nara Avin is not completely remembered. Memories and dreams are both necessary. Dreams? But I'll never be able to stand again. Even if I can recover, I don't know how long that'll take. Such worries are not needed here, Nara Avin. You must remember. Dreams are connected to your heart, not your body. My heart? I led you this far. But now, Nara Avin must find her precious thing by herself. Huh? He's gone just like that? Yeah, they, t <laughs> they tend to do that. It's like this guy here has talked to someone. My heart. <laughs> huh? Hmm? Hey! We're inside a dream. Hear that first time again. No wonder our poor bird could not get on. A bean can move freely in this dream. Wow, that's amazing. Is this the power of my heart? How amazing. We can all look for Arashani together. Come on, let's race. Hey, see how good you really are. <laughs> You know, he is a teenager. <laughs> you know, he is a teenager. Granted, an older teenager, but still a teenager. <laughs> well, that's just easy. Why not just to see more time? I guess, I guess this is what they call aptitude. Let's catch up with them. Oh. Okay. We will continue this 
next time. So first things first, we are going to purchase the last fate that we need for the ten pool on the standard banner. So Highland Bargains, purchase with Primo, standard fate. We're only down to one Primo gem, but there's an event going on, so I should be able to get a decent amount relatively quickly again. Wish this will be documented because it is a pen pull. Let's see how good our luck actually is. And it's a four star. I'm kind of hoping for a four-star weapon, actually. Magic Guide. Skyrider. Harbinger. Grabbing Tails. Oz! <laughs> That's like a C4 official now. Okay, did I get any other four-stars? Sharpshooter. Nope. 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 Just official. But I can actually use that. Oh, and before I get too far, considering I still have fates left in the Stardust Exchange, so. There! It's not a complete loss. Uh, so yeah, I think that's C4. For official. Unfortunately, I don't use her very much. And, yeah, it's, it's C4. Nice. She's getting stronger, and I like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Please make sure to leave a follow and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I go live on the YouTube slash recap channel. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe over there so you don't miss a recap and can suggest a new game for, for me to try out if you want. If you're feeling particularly generous because I'm not an affiliate yet, I do have a Ko-Fi link in the About section of the Twitch channel and in the description of the YouTube videos. Any money generated through that link will go back to the channel in some way, shape, or form. Additionally, if you want to see more of my work, I'm a freelance writer with a passion for D&D homebrew. A link to my portfolio is in the About section of the Twitch channel and in the description of the YouTube videos as well. I don't guarantee perfection. Just something interesting for your next tabletop adventure. I hope to see you guys on Friday for some more Pokemon Violet. Until then, 